Hey guys, it's Maddie, and today I'm going to be filming a camp related video. And I know you guys love camp related videos. I love camp videos so much, and um, they're my most viewed videos. And if you hear like a background noise, that's my dog. The video I'm going to be filming is a tips and hacks video. So the hacks, I'm just giving you three hacks, and the tips are going to be there's a bug in front of the camera. I'm giving you three hacks and three tips, and the tips are going to be about things that I'm most frequently asked. So I'm just going to be doing like a whole description on what I do and what works for me. So let's just get on to the video. So the first hack I have just relates to these like three drawers. You can get these at Target. They're really cheap. Um, they're just by Sterilite. They're a little small. These ones are for me, but it's okay. I'm still going to use them. But basically inside of these, these are really nice. I like to store my toiletries in them. So like I have a hairbrush and a comb in this basket, like in this uh, basket part of it. And you can put like sunscreen you can put anything just toiletries um i know a lot of people put pens and pencils in them and like a hack that's within them is that you can use the top part put it next to your bed and use it as like a what was i gonna say side table because you can like scoop the mattress over and put it there you can put on a windowsill if there's one by you just they're really nice to have and um since all they they don't really provide a lot of storage for you at camp you can just have these and it's just nice this next hack I thought was kind of a given, but now that I look at other people's videos, it's actually not. Not a lot of people bring hangers, and I just have hangers. I've brought them since my first year, so I just have three here, and a like bonus, I guess you could say, is um, a scarf hanger or a series hanger. So a series hanger, you just put the hangers in, and they save lots of space, and with the scarf hanger, you only need one place to hang things up, and then you can store, like, the hangers on it and on the hangers you can put wet towels if it's gonna rain so you don't want to like put them on the uh, clothesline or you can store things like this um, I have a hanging toiletry bag I'm not bringing it this year but I have brought it in previous years and it's really nice you can just like there you go and then you have easy access to your bag and then also mirrors because um, oops. A lot of camps don't have mirrors in the cabin if you don't have a bathroom in the cabin obviously so you can just do that and then you have a mirror so this next hack is just a shower caddy and the shower caddy looks huge but I need to explain so of course in the shower caddy you're gonna have your shower stuff so I like I have my shampoo I have my conditioner and then I have like shaving stuff and then a face wash my body wash my loofah just stuff like that but then this is more so if you don't have attached bathrooms because I know most camps don't, but um, like a certain type of cabin at my camp does, so it is a possibility. So I also have like my toothbrush and stuff in here, which I probably won't do that in the shower just because I don't want to hold up the line. So then I can, while I'm in there, do it. And this is just like basically a bathroom caddy. So then since all that stuff's on the side, you're probably wondering what's on the inside. And on the inside, I just have my pajamas, which might seem a little weird, but I need to explain. So basically, I don't know how it is at your guys' camp, but we have like three showers and there's about like 20 girls who need to use that bathroom. So it's kind of like war when it comes to showers and you want to be the first one there. So um, I like to just have my caddy ready so then I have my pajamas in there. I can just run in and then quickly put on my flip flops and then run out because you want shower shoes and stuff. So yeah, I just have my pajamas so then when I change I can just throw on those. And yeah, because mostly, I think most camps have showers at night. And then this washcloth over here, I don't use to wash myself with. This is actually called a terry towel. It's, it's like a really cheap white towel. And um, like really cheap. Like I think there's like a three pack for $4 at Target. And it just looks like this, you know, plain white towel. Basically what you can do with these is, um, I, I've only been to one camp in my whole life. I think a lot of camps might be like this though. But when you get to the shower, there's the actual shower and then there's another curtain and then there's like a changing area and then another curtain. So it's like there's two showers, but one doesn't have a shower head. But since they're just separated by a curtain, it gets like soaking wet over there and it's just kind of annoying when you're getting dressed. So you can just lay one of these on the ground and then like it'll soak up the water. You can kind of use it as a rug. If you don't want to bring a rug, you can bring a rug. It just takes up a lot of space. So I don't like to do that. So that's an idea for you guys. So we're done with hacks. We're moving on to tips. And these are going to be the things that like I get asked most about and I'm going to just like delve into them and go farther. So let's just do that now. 
basically the first thing I get asked about is food and we all know that camp is definitely not the number one provider of food food quality and food like amount is just not quite enough and it's not very good so a lot of people like to bring their own food but also at the same time a lot of camps don't like to have like campers bring food because it does attract animals but since everyone's so hungry including the counselors sometimes the counselors are okay with it so just bring food especially even if this is your first year and you don't want to take risks i would probably if you're picky bring food in like a container maybe not as big as mine because i'm i eat a lot <laughs> but um this is just to keep the animals out so don't just like have it just like all in your bag because that can attract the animals and that's what the camp doesn't want and then that would definitely make it known that you have food so basically at my camp every time i go there the counselors are either okay with it or they're not and sometimes if they're not okay with it the kids still have up food and the counselors don't really do anything because at winter camp that i went to i brought food and the counselor said that we had to bring it back to the lodge and we were just like oh okay but nobody did and we still just ate it like right in front of her and she just didn't really care after a while um, I wish I would have known this at summer camp because all we had like every night was dark chicken meat and I don't like dark chicken meat, not gonna lie. So I was starving at points and I didn't really know anyone so I didn't want to ask for food quite yet. And that's basically what happened, I was just starving. But everyone was like okay with bringing food and they were all much more experienced with this camp than me. Um, so like they would bring the food, this is like my tip to you, bring the food in a container and if you see other campers getting out food and the counselor knows that they're getting out food and the counselor's okay with it, then bring out your food. If not, then like show zero signs of you having food. Um, basically, another thing I would probably do is if you're like really starving and you think you're like about to cry, like you're just so hungry, then just sneak it or something at night. Just like if it's not loud, just eat it real quick and then I you probably should be fine and if you get in trouble just say that you were really really hungry and they'll just take your food to the lodge i don't think they'll do too many like extreme things but yeah this next one's about makeup so makeup at camp a lot of people are kind of judgmental about it i'm not really one to think that anyone's wearing too much makeup at any point in time i just think go ahead but that's like what i have to say is if you feel a lot more confident wearing a ton of makeup then go ahead if you think you're fine without it i probably wouldn't bring it just because you won't have time like that's my only issue if you want to wear a full face of makeup is that we just have no time to do anything we have like 10 minutes to get ready in the morning and you're still sleepy so you're just like waking up like oh i can't do anything so that like that's all i have to say about makeup is like bring whatever you want just know you might not have time and some people will be judgmental about it but honestly who cares you're probably not going to see those people again and if you do it's probably because you're friends with them so yeah that's all i have to say the third and final thing I'm going to be talking about is bedding. So a lot of people talk to me about bedding. Um, the only problem I have with bedding is that there's so many different climates. I don't know where anyone's from. So if it's always hot, it's going to be different. At Michigan, where I live, at night it gets colder and in the morning it gets warmer because the sun completely changes our weather up and everything like Michigan weather is just crazy. So that is kind of weird. So I normally bring a light blanket, a heavier blanket, or just like a normal blanket fitted sheet and a pillowcase so I can always put the heavier blanket on I normally just sleep with the light blanket because it's enough for me because I'm kind of used to like being colder at night if that makes sense and that's pretty much what I do but I know if you bring a sleeping bag I would probably still bring a fitted sheet just in case you're really hot and you don't want the sleeping bag you can just lay down on the fitted sheet um that's like I guess all I have to say so just prepare for cold weather prepare for hot weather and always bring a fitted sheet and another thing that I know some people might do I just never did it because I didn't really have room is they bring like a flat sheet or they just sleep with the some people just sleep with one but or they bring one because at my camp we have sand like everywhere and it's not like beach sand it's just like dirt sand I guess you could say and it just gets in the bed and it's just kind of annoying because it's hard to get it out because it's really like fine it's just annoying and you don't want to like unmake your bed and shake the sheet so they just place the flat sheet on top once it becomes like middle of the week and there's just tons of sand everywhere and yeah that's what they do normally I just put one of the blankets underneath me and the sand just kind of gets like lost in like the furry part of it I guess you could say but that's what I have to say about bedding and always bring a pillow obviously um bring a pillow that you know you like 
you like because my first year of camp I brought just like a random pillow from my house and the pillow was really flat really uncomfortable it kind of felt like cardboard and I hated it so I just bring the pillow that I sleep with every night now and I guess those are my tips so thank you all for watching I hope you enjoy don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friends I'm going to be posting more camp videos and also check out my vlog channel Mad Cat Vlogs bye